We are asked to find our degree three polynomial function having zeros or roots of negative two, four, and negative six, and the coefficient of x cubed equals one. When we are given the roots or zeros of a polynomial function, we are also given binomial factors of the polynomial function. Looking at the notes below, if a polynomial function has zeros or roots of r sub one, r sub two, r sub three, and so on, then the polynomial function can be written in the form as shown here, where a is a constant, and notice how each binomial factor is in the form of x minus the root, or x minus the zero. So because we have a degree three polynomial function, we will have three binomial factors, and therefore a possible function will be in the form of f of x equals a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two times the quantity x minus r sub three, where again r sub one, r sub two, and r sub three are the given roots or zeros. So let's let r sub one equal negative two, r sub two equal four, and r sub three equal negative six. And because the coefficient of x cubed is equal to one, we also know a is equal to one which means a polynomial function that satisfies the given conditions will be f of x equals one times the quantity x minus negative two times the quantity x minus four times the quantity x minus negative six. And now let's simplify the right side. We have f of x equals, multiplying by one doesn't change anything, x minus negative two simplifies to x plus two then we have x minus four, and x minus negative six simplifies to x plus six. So this is the factored form of a polynomial function that satisfies the given conditions. This is the factored form of the polynomial function. Let's also multiply the right side out and give the polynomial function an expanded form. Let's multiply this out on the right side. We have the quantity x plus two times the quantity x minus four, times the quantity x plus six. To determine the product, let's multiply the first two binomials. When multiplying the first two binomials, we have four products. We distribute each term in the first binomial into the second binomial, which means the first two products will be these two products here. X times x is x squared. X times negative four gives us minus four x. and then we distribute the two. Two times x gives us plus two x, and two times negative four gives us minus eight. All this is still multiplied by x plus six. But let's simplify here, negative four x plus two x is negative two x, giving us the quantity x squared minus two x minus eight times the quantity x plus six. And now we multiply the trinomial and the binomial by distributing each term of the trinomial into the binomial, which will give us six products. So we first distribute the x squared, giving us two products. x squared times x is equal to x cubed. x squared times six gives us plus six x squared. And now we distribute negative two x. Negative two x times x gives us minus two x squared. Negative two x times six gives us minus 12 x. And now we distribute the negative eight. Negative eight times x gives us minus eight x. And negative eight times positive six gives us minus 48. Last step is to combine like terms. Notice we have two x squared terms and two x terms. So simplifying we have x cubed 6x squared minus 2x squared is 4x squared, giving us plus 4x squared. Negative 12x minus 8x is negative 20x, giving us minus 20x. And then we still have minus 48. So the same polynomial function in expanded form is f of x equals x cubed plus 4x squared minus 20x minus 48. I hope you found this helpful.